so I went to Barnes & Noble and got a crazy good deal because I have the Barnes & Noble like membership card so you get like 10% off and they had 30% off on the dolls and I had a coupon also that they sent me and they let me use all of them and it was great and I got this doll! So I've reviewed two of the other um, the Barbie look dolls. I have the Bohemian one and the one where she has like the blazer and like the leopard printed skirt. So with this one I fell in love with her. She has this very like I don't know, I'm going to the Grammys type of look to her, and I just fell in love. Like, look how fabulous she looks. I really love these. I like that they're articulated. I like that they all have different unique faces. Uh, I like that they have a little bit of like better accessories than some of the other, just like a basic doll would have. And for the price, it's pretty good. Now these are considered black label doll, or they are like black label dolls. And they just have that little extra touch of fanciness to them that you don't see with like the basic Barbies that you would normally get at like, you know, for like 15 bucks. And these, let's say you just walked into a store, no coupons, anywhere I've seen from 20 to $30. Most of the time they're about 30, depending where you go. But I think I've seen them at like Tuesday morning and um, oh, Toys R Us. And <laughs> I'm like trying to think, I'm like, ah. And then obviously Barnes & Noble for this one. So it's like, to me, it's so worth the price because you get articulation, better quality of clothing, uh, cooler accessories, and then the face and the hair is just so different. Um, unlike the last one that I reviewed, the blonde one, she was kind of basic looking when it comes to like the ordinary Barbie faces, but even then the accessories and everything are still so worth it in my opinion. So I'm going to get this lovely lady out of the box so we can take a closer look at her. All right, so I got her out of the packaging and she does come with a stand very basic. We've seen them with the other ones. And uh, I love her so much. Now, her hair is a little weird in the back because of the box. So not too many like back pictures of her for right now until the hair gets fixed. But let's get a close up of her beautiful face. Look at that. Like I love, like she has like almost like really overdrawn lashes which is something that I haven't really seen too much. I like that a lot. Beautiful gold hoop earrings, beautiful gold necklace, which is attached to the dress, in case anybody was wondering. So you can like cut it off or if you wanted to, but I wouldn't cut it off though, because then the dress wouldn't really stay up. One thing I noticed though, real snaps on the back, no Velcro. I like that little extra touch of um, just again, better made. And then as you can see, your hair is really matted in the back. Like look at this curl, it's like, seen better days. Now the front's fabulous. Back not so much. That's okay. Because she's still really pretty. Uh, <laughs> she has a gold bangle or cuff I should say on the bottom. Now articulation in the wrist, elbows, and shoulders. We've seen that before with these dolls. Um, not in the waist but she does sit and does have bendable knees. Ooh that's a good pose. Look at this. Very like <laughs> like I kind of want to like oh is this cut on the side? Can you cut this? Oh that's kind of weird. I guess you can have a super high slit if you wanted to, because look, there's a little piece of like threading there that you can cut and give her even a higher slit. I don't know if I want it that high though, because see, look, that's how far it sticks out now. Let's give a little leg action. All right, that's how far it sticks out now. I don't know if I want it that high, because then you can see like everything. <laughs> and I don't know how cute that would be. So I'm gonna leave it like that. But she does have the super bendable knees though. Like not just like a bend in the knee, but like a, the actual like three point bend type of thing that you've seen in, um, um, brain said here, the made to move dolls. <laughs> or it was like the thing that I like, okay. And then here are the gold heels. I don't leave her at this high kick pose, but the fabric is just so nice. It's double layered. It's got some, like it's got like a satin feel with a lighter thin over the top. Like she's gonna pose, do the Angelina Jolie pose. That's for sure on this dress. Like if I was to cut it that high, she would be doing the Angelina pose. It's like leg out and pose. <laughs> she almost reminds me of like a Kardashian-esque look on her face, which I don't think is bad. I mean, they're pretty. So it's like, I don't know, she's she's someone definitely like maybe a little Kardashian, I guess. I don't know. She does have gold eyeshadow though. I wonder if you guys can see that. I just noticed that right now. Hold on. Camera focus. Powers of focusing to go. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she does have like a really pretty gold shadow there. That's cute. I like that a lot. And accessories. She does come with a tiny, I guess this is just for blush, not just for foundation, pink little compact. So, and it does close and it has like, I don't know what you want to call it, like um, 
studs, like a studded feel to it. She has a gold clutch, which, are you real? Can I open you? Here's, oh, it works. So her gold clutch actually opens. Let's see if we can fit her blush. Okay, the blush doesn't fit. Um, but she does come with a gold phone, iPhone. Looks like an iPhone. Um, and it says Barbie. She's on the Barbie Instagram? She's on the Barbie Instagram because that's one thing I noticed in the packaging here. Sorry, it's all tore up. Um, she gets like likes and stuff like that. Like as if you were on Instagram and commenting. She's on, which is, this is way too tiny. I don't even know if the camera will be kind. Can you guys see that? Uh, get close. She's on the Barbie Instagram. How cool is that? I love it. And then she has lipstick, which I thought it looks like it opens, but it doesn't. So here, I'm gonna try to do a close up. Little stuff here, little lipstick. But the phone I love. So the lipstick does fit in the purse and the phone sort of, not really kind of, yeah, I can kind of go in there. That's so cute. So yeah, I love all her gold accessories to go with her gold outfit. Um, and then all, obviously all the black uh, labels come with the certificate of authenticity. Really cute. I love her. I think she's so fabulous. Like I went from like, oh, those Barbie look dolls. Hmm, I don't know about those. And now I'm like, oh, every time, like I feel like every couple weeks I'm like, oh, let me go get another one. But I only buy them when they're on clearance on sale or if I have a coupon. Budgeting. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of her. She again, she's so striking to me. I want her to have like, she's gonna be on her stand doing the Angelina pose just like that. I might have to take her outside and take some pictures of her like strutting her stuff out there because she's definitely gorgeous like i love on the box they have her like sitting on is it on a car or something hold on <sighs> on a car like is it on a car it is on a car that's so nice i love it can you see the top picture that is so pretty i love that so much i'm gonna have to take a picture of her like that oh, i just love her hair like pinned up like this mm, so cute so comment below what do you guys think of my kardashian-esque barbie look doll <laughs> i love it <laughs> thanks for watching you guys Bye. <laughs>